I'm glad you came back for another activity. We're done the art one, and if this is the first video you've seen, my name is Marissa, and I'm an early childhood educator. And I operate a website called preschoollearningonline.com. And a lot of these activities you'll find on that website or in our ebooks. We're going to be posting these videos on our website as well as on YouTube. We're going to be putting more. So, um, as I said before, I already did the art activity. It should um, be on YouTube. Hopefully you've seen it. And now I'm going to be doing the more science type activity. I had these on the table in my first video, so now we're going to use them. All you need is water, cornstarch, a tablespoon, a mixing spoon, and some food coloring. So there's no exact measurement for this activity, but that's the reason that I like it, because you can do it with the kids and just experiment. And you'll be finding a lot of different textures. It might be too runny, it might be too thick, but you can just keep trying and trying until you get it right. And the kids will have a ball with it, especially because they got to help make it, so it makes it even more fun. So I have two cups of water here. I'm gonna do my best to measure it to give you a good idea of what I'm doing. Um, I don't have that much uh, cornstarch, so I'm going to put maybe um, half a cup in here and try and measure out about half a cup. Just a little more. Okay, that should be good. And I'm going to use two colors just to show how easy it is to mix colors. And I'm sure most of you that use food coloring know how easy it is to mix colors in water but I'm going to do purple it is my favorite color so let's see how good I can do with making purple and then I'll just get my mixing spoon and mix it up and that actually made a really neat purple now for adding the cornstarch roll up my sleeves here I'm wearing the wrong color <laughs> all right so we'll start with one tablespoon of cornstarch and we'll see what that does. So we'll just mix that around in here. Not enough cornstarch, so we'll use more. We'll get another tablespoon. So that's number two. And we'll mix that up. It's getting a little thick. And the best thing to do when you're doing with this, the kids, once it's all prepared, if you have a tray, that a plastic tray that kind of looks like a cookie sheet, like it has a raised lip all around it, those are the best to use because then the goop can be spread all around it and they have more fun. If it's in a bowl, it's just kind of constricted to a small little area. But if it's on a tray, they can run little toy cars through it. They can use forks, spoons, straws anything like that and it just gives them more area to use it with which is more fun so that's number three tablespoon number three i'm going to do another one number four and we'll see what this will do number five and number six so right now about six tablespoons in half a cup of water still hasn't really done it so that's a if you want to write that down that might give you a little bit of a guide to how much you want to put in it. Okay, so six is still too watery. We'll try seven and eight. We're still going to need more. I hope I have enough cornstarch. Let's try this. of a heaping tablespoon. Another heaping tablespoon. Now this project is a little messy, but cornstarch is very easy. I'll try and put two more in. Okay, just added two more heaping tablespoons. Mixing it up. I think this is going to start to do it. So half a cup of water does quite a bit of goop. So you don't, I know it doesn't seem like a lot of water, but when you're starting it, you don't want to put too much. And 
I'm going to assume that there's about two more tablespoons in here. I'm just going to dump the rest of the bag in here and see what happens. Mix that up. You can see it start to form. The goop is really neat because it looks liquidy, but when you pick it up with a spoon or a fork, it gets a little bit stringy and kind of turns into a bit of a solid. Now, I've kind of lost count at how much cornstarch I have in, and part of that reason is because we had to stop the tape and find more cornstarch because I ran out and I had too much water in there. But that's the reason I'm putting these uh, tapes online for you to see, because the more mistakes I make, the less mistakes you make. But they're not really mistakes, I guess they're more learning experiences. So this learning experience was make sure you have more than one box of cornstarch in the house. So. Um, you can look back at this video online and count how many uh, tablespoons of cornstarch I've put in. I'm going to add two more because it's getting a little thicker in the bottom, but it's still too liquidy on the top. And if you were to put it in a tray, it'd be too liquidy and make a mess. If it's in a tray and it's the way it should be, it's really fun to play in and it doesn't go, it doesn't spill over. They make a bit of a mess, but... Making a mess is part of having a good time. So now I just put two more in, and I'm going to mix it up. There we go. Now that's starting to get how we need it. It's getting really tough to mix. But you still need to work it in because it does dissolve in with the liquid, and then, it, uh, and then you do need more. So you need to make sure that you keep adding or keep mixing it to make sure it, it's all in the liquid because you want to make sure you have enough. Well I'm going to add a little more but that actually just about I'm does like it. Like I said you can put forks and spoons and other scoopable objects in the goop for the children to play. Um, if you put it on a tray you can run, the kids can run toy cars through it like I said. Um, or they can use their hands, but always remember when you're dealing with preschoolers, some preschoolers don't like to get their hands dirty. It's a sensory issue type of thing, which is okay. So just make sure there's objects that they can use to play in it in case they don't like to get their hands dirty. So I'm going to try one more scoop, or about half a tablespoon, three quarters of a tablespoon. And then I'm going to get my hands. I love this recipe and the next one that's going to be in my next video, the flubber. The flubber recipe is very hard to find. We were selling it on our website, but now we're giving it away for free. So make sure you check that one out. And make sure you have a pen and paper because that is an awesome recipe and not many people have it. So I'm just going to take my ring off and I'm going to get my hands in. I'm going to keep this going. Let's see. So see now I've put my hand across the top and it got a little bit wet, not too much. That's another cool thing about the goop is it looks wet, but you can touch it and I just got a little bit on. So I'm going to get my hand in there and see. So see it's melting through my fingertips, but when, I, when I'm touching it it's hard, but the heat from my hand is making it melt. This is really cool. It's really neat to feel. Like I can grab a huge chunk and it feels hard, but then all of a sudden it just melts in my hand. That's really neat. So the kids are going to love that. So I hope you counted how many tablespoons of cornstarch I put in, and it was half a cup of water, just so you know. And uh, that's a goop recipe. It's a good science experiment for the kids. And... Um, that's about it for this one. So thanks for coming to watch, and I hope you come back for the flubber one, because that one you don't want to miss. So I'll see you again.